So, what do you guys say we try it on target? By the way guys, it's also feeding day today for some of the smaller snakes. So, let's go! But yeah, good enough. You need anger management. Things will work. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, or just welcome if you're new to the channel. I really hope all of you are having an amazing day so far. And guys, in today's video, we're going to deep clean one of the enclosures because I have bought some new equipment that I want to show you guys. And also, I have bought some photography I want to show you. So, stick around and I really hope you'll enjoy this. Yeah, here's a bit feisty. Yeah, she looks really thick. The enclosure that I'm going to deep clean is Floki's. And the equipment I bought is actually for this purpose. And the equipment is this. This is an ash cleaner that you use for, well, fireplaces. So, I know the tank is pretty small, but yeah, let's empty the tank in the bin where the tank is full. But I think this is going to be a lot more, well, it's going to be a game changer. Cleaning cages or enclosures is going to be so much easier now. So what to say about we just, well, jump right into it. So let's start by pulling Floki out and put him in a plastic bin. So we can do this. Hello buddy. There we go. Just put him aside for now. Put him on a shelf here, I think. So, let's start by removing the glass doors. Put him aside over here. And then the water bowl. And then the well, caves and everything. Don't spill too much of this. That aside, and then we'll just pull this stuff out. But this is going to be a time lapse, so. Last of it, I'm gonna do by hand because it's. I don't know if it's a little bit moist, so I don't know if the vacuum cleaner, if it's good for a vacuum cleaner. So now it's time to scrub. And then, of course, wipe as well. There, all done. Now we just have to fill it up with substrate again and put in the branch and the caves and the water bowl. And then it's time to float it to Go back home again. And as usual, I'm going to use peat. And again, I don't have any moss at home because it all went out the last time. So I have to buy more moss and put it in this enclosure for later on. But peat will do for now. Mm. 
Now the substrate is in. So time to put in the decoration and the case and everything. So it looks basically the same as before. Gonna fill up the water bowl, wipe it out a little, and or just clean it out. And then uh, yeah, we'll put them back. So there we go, all done. And as you can see, I decided to change out the water bowl because this will be much smoother and it has well a little bit more space. To be honest. I think it looks better as well. So, time to put them in again. To this updated home. Or, well, cleaned home at least. There you go, buddy. I thought that hognose snakes didn't climb at all. Do you see Gunner? actually climbing a little that's pretty cool by the way guys it's also feeding day today for some of the smaller snakes so while the food is thawing out how about we look at what I got for target and a couple of other things as well so besides the thing that I got for target I also ordered a few signs and these signs and the thing that I got for target is from Timur so let's start with the first sign I thought it looked so cool. See it there? And of course, these are going up in the snake room. So, this is the first one. This one here. This one is just perfect for me. I think it looks so cool. And this one I think is awesome. Reptile room. So I can really recommend Timo for you guys if you want to have reptile what you call it, accessories. So these were these were awesome. And now to the thing that I got for Tag. Yeah. There's actually three of these things in the same bag. So but yeah, this is what I got for Tag. Yeah. And this is a harness and I think this one is too small for Targa but I had two more here this one I think is too big this one I think is too small and this one I think will be just perfect so what do you guys say we try it on Targa let's see if he likes it I almost forgot guys I also got these from Timo these are well, they are not that fun, but they're snake stickers. Thought they looked pretty, pretty fun. Don't know what I'm gonna use them for, but yeah. There's ball pythons and some boas and some colubrids. Yeah. Actually, pretty cool. So I also got these as well. So, first we need to try on the harnesses. I think we start with the big one. And let's see how it looks on him. And I don't think this is going to be easy. But what I have to do is this off camera. There we go. This is the big harness. I think it maybe it's too big. Maybe we we'll try with the rope attached to it. Now the rope is attached to the big harness. So let's see how this will look. Come on, buddy.
So now I got the harness on and I think it's too big actually. We have to try the other one. I think this will be I think this will work. Nice. And of course this is for the summer when I take him out. If he will jump off me you know. I have the leash on him. And yeah, he can walk around with this on the ground. So we have to... Okay, see? I see the lizard on a leash. <laughs> this is actually pretty awesome. And of course, the more he uses the harness, the more accustomed he's gonna get to it. So, so this, was the f this was the first time, and actually, I think he did pretty good. So he's gonna get accustomed to it, so yeah. Now he starts humping my hand, as you can see. But time to put him back, and now we're gonna feed him some uh, chicken heart, actually. Now, let's see if he wants some chicken heart. Good boy. Dropped it. Don't know what it's doing now. Here you go, buddy. Well, maybe he's not that interested. I don't know what he's doing actually. Well, we do like this. We put the chicken here and hopefully he'll eat it. What is doing actually? Come on, buddy, eat. Well, maybe it doesn't want chicken today. I think no, he's he's more interested in me at this moment. See? So yeah. Go down and be for now. Maybe he'll eat later. So yeah, sometimes, as you saw in the last video, he doesn't always eat when I give him food. But he has plenty of cockroaches and uh, well other bugs in this enclosure that he can eat whenever he wants to. So let's see if Gunnar wants a mouse. Gonna get the egg that food of course. This is food man, come on. Okay, we we'll put it over here. Yes. Well. No. Let's put it over here and hopefully he'll eat it later. You're so angry, dude. You need anger management. But he is adorable. I love this little guy. He's awesome. So, do you guys think he's hungry? Looks like it. Maybe we can get him to come out a little. Yeah, he's got it. He's 
so cool. This little dude. So now you guys know that horse snakes actually do constrict as well. And she's in this hide. So we'll see if I can get it to come out. I want to remove the hide. It's not necessary. So see if I can get it to come out a little. Sorry, but she's got it. Well, the most important thing is that she's eating. So, let's see if she's hungry. Whoa, that was quick. This one has made a mess of the water bowl. Have to fix that later on when she's eaten. There we go. What the heck has she done in her bin? Well, gotta fix that later. Time for this one now. Here you guys have him. He's eating. Such a drama queen. And you're going, well, butt first. Well, whatever works for you, man. So let's see sunrise and sunset once to eat. Sunset is going through shed, so I don't have high hopes for that actually. Hopefully sunrise will eat. I know they're both under this hide, so... Well, don't seem interested at all. Oh well, put them here, and then we'll see if they still eat. I think this is the first time she doesn't take food. But you can see, she is really deep in shed. So there's no surprise. Maybe, take it anyway. Oh. No, don't think she's hungry. Well, would you look at that? She actually took it. That's really good. And she also took it. Nice. And the new crescent gecko babies are doing great. Try to update you guys on them. And for those of you that haven't seen him yet, this is Stitch, my male crested gecko. He's just hanging out, you know, but this is him. I didn't, well, I did feature him in my previous video, but that was just some B-roll. Here you have him in all of his glory. So, 
what do I think about my new equipment? Well, it worked good enough. It didn't work perfect, but it did the job at least. And it was of course much easier emptying the enclosure with a vacuum than doing it by hand. So it worked good enough. What I think is less good is the size of it. It should it it would have been better if it was bigger. And it got clogged up a few times as well. So but it did the job, it was good enough. So maybe not two thumbs up, but one thumb up at least. So good enough. And for those of you in Sweden that's watching and maybe thinking about getting something like this, I bought this at Klaus Olsson. And I paid around 40 bucks, so 399 Swedish crowns. So not really expensive to be honest. But yeah, good enough. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And what I would also appreciate is if you please would subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. And why not go and check out my brother's channel. I will put one of his videos either over here or over there. And check out one of my other videos as well, please. So I'll leave you with this guys. Be kind someone, take care and at least always try to show other people respect. So till next time, goodbye guys.